business as usual at Way Station Cafe. Hash browns sizzle and coffee brews on the corner of Main and 9th Street, but there's something missing, or rather, someone. There are some days where I wake up now and I still think, I'm gonna see Jose, we're gonna be smart Alex today, we're gonna be messing around, having fun, and then I come here and I'm like, that's right, he's not here anymore. That person is Jose Sanchez, and just as the cafe is a part of Santa Clarita's history, Jose is a part of Way Station history. It's said that Jose, 17 years old and new to the country, was looking for work when he came into the cafe in 1974. He just started walking around town, he came into the Way Station, the original owner, Stan at the time said, oh, do you want to work for me? And he said, sure. And from there, he started learning English, picked up his English, got his citizenship. Overall, he said he loved this place, that this place meant everything to him. From then on, there was always a member of Jose's family working in the cafe. He was actually the one that brought my dad, who's the cook now, to the way station. Both my parents immigrated from Mexico, and my dad was trying to find a job, trying to find a stable income. And Jose said to my dad, oh, come work at the way station. And from there, opened the doors for us to eventually live here. Jose fed the community for 51 years, cracking eggs and jokes with customers until his death in September from cancer. Told he had six months left, he passed away within a week. When I saw him, I was like, I probably only have a few months left. That's what I thought in my mind. But then when I found out I was wrong, it was only a few days. There was an outpouring of support from people who knew Jose as a fun-loving and hard-working man, whose last wish was to be buried in Tijuana. We actually asked customers to actually um, donate, and then we gave all that money to his wife now. So I found out from his wife that he was probably buried in Tijuana, and the body was properly transported there. I don't know how I can tell people and all the customers who donated, everyone, thank you for helping out, for giving those donations, because Jose has now a proper resting place. Now, Jose's nephew, Tito, his niece and brother-in-law continue to work at the cafe, hoping to keep Jose's legacy alive. For Canyons News, I'm Lindsay Tolts. More caffeine boys.